Hi, it's Megan. I wanted to do a review for a couple items from the Yves Saint Laurent Flower Crush collection. So this is the palette, which has this beautiful special edition packaging. I mean, the regular box is not special edition, but this particular packaging is. You open it up, of course you get the two little, you know, cheap brushes, which none of us use, and then you get this beautiful set of eyeshadows. So basically, the way Yves Saint Laurent Beauty describes the collection is like worlds of petals, a rush of roses and peonies, a whirlwind of a thousand flowers enveloped the Saint Laurent woman in a soft, feverish, sensual cloud flower crush. And then it goes on and on about flowers and this and that and the other. And I think that's actually a good description. This definitely, the eyeshadow palette and the lipsticks I'll show you in a minute, have just a very light, beautiful, effervescent, shimmering, um, feminine touch to them, all of them. I mean, the packaging starts it, and then you look at the colors. So they say that there is, what do they say? Tones of fuchsia pink, coral, black cherry, and champagne. So the champagne is a highlight. Then you have the fuchsia here. You have two corals, and then you have this is a black cherry, which is kind of like a brownish, reddish, rose kind of undertone thing. This I used right here. The uh, champagne I used right here, but you can also use it a highlight right here under your eyes to open up your face, which I did not do, but probably should have. But you can see the beautiful effect of that. So overall, I really like the eyeshadow palette, but not everybody's going to it. So I'm going to stake out a claim right now. My review is going to be different from some. Some people online tend to like really pigmented shadows. They tend not to like shimmer. I like shimmer. I don't like heavily pigmented shadows. I like something that kind of opens and brightens my eyes. And part of it's just the fact that I have larger eyes with kind of wider, more kind of space to cover. So for me, brightening helps more than like too much color, which looks really heavy. Um, this shadow palette opens and brightens your eyes, but it's not super pigmented. It's more semi-sheer. This is what's left of the uh, swatches in my arm, and I have up to swatches, which would be a lot clearer. This is not one of those super pigmented, buildable eyeshadow palettes. It does last well with an eyeshadow primer. On me, it lasts about eight to nine hours, depending on how you define lasting, how much pigment you need. Um, but I do need an eyeshadow primer for that. So all of the shades are kind of semi-sheer. And if you, I mean, I double swatch them outside when you look at the swatches but I usually don't do that, so you need a little bit more like, time and effort to get a deeply pigmented color. So I did the champagne up here. You can see it's very sheer. I did one of the peaches here, the darker one. They don't have names on them. I did the lighter one underneath, and then I also did the brown, the black cherry. I did the black cherry's liner, which it serves very well. These are amazing shadows. They just blend, they take hold of your eyelids with an eyeshadow primer beautifully, they last beautifully, they are very evenly applied, stunning, but you can see, and then I did the fuchsia in the corners, even a bright color like that is kind of barely there. So this is a shadow that isn't going to build to a deeply rich pigment. It's going to more open. If I pull away, you can see how my eyes open. It just opens up the eyes. It really makes them pop. But you have to like that. Then the two lipsticks. I did Jealous Coral number 32, and the one I have on my lips right now, Pink Niella, Niella which is a poppy, number 33. I like this shade. I like the coral better. This one's very bright. Um, I did the lighter two shades. This one is really kind of a in-your-face pink. It definitely is. I don't know what poppy means, but it's kind of like, I would call it kind of a strawberry. The formula is among my favorites. It really does apply like butter. It's like this soft, creamy thing that I really can't compare to anything else. I've never felt anything that applies quite the same way with such a soft touch. Um, uh, just unbelievable. It lasts about four to five hours on me, which is a long time, and it wears evenly with a beautiful kind of tone. These are lighter colors. They, they kind of do... Um, stain a little bit but not a lot and there's no bleeding whatsoever sometimes a softer formula like this will bleed on me does not bleed at all and you can see it fills my top line which some lighter colors although these are brighter lighter colors don't do but this color I really like kind of to me it's like a strawberry or they call it poppy which I see but it's like a bright milky opaque pink um, on the lighter end the one I love really love I'm trying not to break the, the flow of the videos. So you can see I have very pigmented lips. You can see the slight staining. This is the one I love. This is the Jealous Coral 
number 32. I think this is one of my favorite shades of all time. It adds enough color, but it's very kind of muted. I think it's beautiful with the eyes. What's interesting about kind of the whole set here is that you have a mix of pinks and corals. So what do you do for the blush? I did kind of an in-between, which had a mix of pink and coral, but you kind of have to think that through as well. When I ordered, there was no blush. There's a blush in the collection. It wasn't available, so I didn't get it. But this coral is, to me, absolutely stunning. And if you see, these are very opaque. They're not matte. They have a much more glistening sheen to them. Um, but they don't have glitter. So you have a little glitter, a lot of glitter on the eyes. But it's not chunky glitter. It's like a finely milled glistening glitter. And then you have kind of this opaque but richly pigmented look on the lips. So sheer on the eyes, more opaque on the lips. I like it. I really like it for spring. Um, to me, it's just a bright, eye-opening, face-engaging look, but everyone will disagree. Some people, I will bet you, are not going to like that eyeshadow palette because it's so kind of shimmery and sheer. Anyway, if anyone has any other items in the collection, please let me know. I wasn't planning on buying anything else because it's a pricey collection and I'm kind of happy with what I got. Um, feedback, suggestions, always welcome. And I also do books, videos for my book, Get Your Child to the Top, which is a parent-focused education book. And I think that's it. Happy spring, although it's January, but whatever. Take care.